Thank you so much, Greg Herschel. This is the Dave Ross Show, early edition. At first, this week didn't look like it was going to be so good for Sarah Palin because of that new book, Game Change, in which we read about McCain staffers having to give her a crash course in the significance of World War II. It's a very nasty passage, makes her look like an idiot, and is really so unfair. I mean, if you really need to learn about World War II, there are like a gazillion movies you can read. But as I say, she leads a charmed life because in that very same book, is the 2008 quote from Harry Reid in which he described then-candidate Barack Obama as politically appealing because he was light-skinned and had no Negro dialect unless he wanted to use one, along the lines of Joe Biden describing him as clean and articulate. Well, that's all it took. The Sarah Palin slam was quickly eclipsed by calls for Harry Reid to resign as a majority leader for being offensive to blacks, as Republican Trent Lott had to do in 2002 when he said the country would have been better off if segregationist Strom Thurmond had been elected president. There's nothing like a race quote to make news. But I find myself less and less shocked by this kind of thing. Barack Obama is, in fact, light-skinned. So what? He did, in fact, speak differently at black churches than he did during TV debates, and so did Hillary, for that matter. So what? There are two things funny about this whole episode. Number one, all those bloggers who've been calling Obama an empty suit with a teleprompter, suddenly worried about offending him. And number two, seeing some of the same people, perfectly serious about going to the polls in 2012 and replacing an empty suit with an empty dress. This is Dave Ross, back at 9 with the Dave Ross Show on News Talk 97.3 Cairo FM.